Welcome back nerds, Afino here with a guide for the Summer 4 event. All in, a Las Vegas Championship match. 7 duels of the Sword Beauties. Your main objective here is to unlock and collect all the upgrades for the new free servant, Saber Hokusai. You get a temporary copy right away, and she benefits from doubled experience for the duration of the event, so level her up whenever you can. Some of the story fights function under Pseudo Shimosa rules, and they require you to run your own Saber Hokusai in the front line. And if she's level 1, you're gonna be in for a rough time. Also put her in your party, because you've got event missions related to her bond level and number of quest completions. That's right, missions. You've got a hundred of them, but I remember this being a lot less painful than some of the reruns we've had to deal with earlier this year. You can do a lot of them just in the course of switching which casino you farm at as they unlock. For general event progression, you have two obstacles. Firstly, there's a series of QP gates. You see, this event has you wagering QP for its free quests. If you win, you get it back and win some more. Your profit is tallied and added to a counter that you can see on the map screen. In fact, it'll tell you how much you need for the next story segment right at the top. Do those as soon as you unlock them, because there's also a listed limit and your QP gains don't count past that point. You need to raise the limit by progressing in the story. Your second obstacle takes the form of Letters of Challenge. You need these to fight the Sword Beauties and you can buy them from the shop. In fact, I'd prioritize the first one over the shop CE when you're spending lucky dice. Said Craft Essence is Midsummer Memories and it provides a damage boost. You can grab 4 copies from the shop and 1 from missions, though that last copy isn't available until Part 2. The other CE is Demonic Sun Princess, which increases bonus coin enemy spawns. It's also good in general, so make sure to complete it. You can get 4 copies of this from completing missions and the last one from Part 2. Regular free quests only have one spawn on the final wave, so you don't have to worry about them interfering with your 3 turn setups there. That's not the case for Fever quests. To play these, you need Fever tickets you get from logging in and a few missions. These have messy enemy distributions including mixed classes and higher mob counts. I've personally found Buster teams the most convenient for doing these. I'd do the early ones once for their first clear rewards, but if you have spare tickets, I'd hold them for the later QP gates. Another cool thing about Summer 4 is that enemies drop QP, and because QP gates progression, there's actually an incentive to run Mona Lisa, Bella Lisa, and Detective Foams in standard farming. In order of priority, you should use a friendless Bella Lisa for a 15% QP bonus, your own Mona Lisa for 10%, Great Detective Foams for 5% QP and Bond, and finally your own Bella Lisa for 5% if your team cost allows. To structure your teams, I'd look at the event's servant list. These get a damage and bond bonus, and I'll note that Jarger, Mysterious Alter Ego Lambda, and Da Vinci Rider are good farmers to begin with, and they're in the second highest bonus tier, so prioritize them if you can. If Hokusai wasn't enough of an incentive, a Summer 4 also introduces a number of command codes, two of which are very strong. Mage of Flowers gives 10% meter, and Brush of a Mad Painter increases Art's critical damage. I've referenced both in previous servant guides, so make sure to grab them. If you're big into the costume game, this event adds a bunch. Merlin, Zerxashi, Kotaro, Siegfried, bunny ears for each Saber Shiki Ascension, and my personal favorite, Melt. But with sunglasses. Finally, if you're feeling like a high roller, but not the NP5 Musashi kind, you can try your luck at big chance quests. These unlock over time and they pay out huge QP bonuses. But the catch is that you have a realistic chance of losing them, and your QP, if you aren't prepared. In all of these fights, there's one common mechanic. The enemies get an on-hit buff that gives them a chance to gain charge. Because of this, you'll have to deal with unpredictable enemy NP timing, making it essential to track and, if necessary, burst down attackers. Also make sure you have at least one copy of Midsummer Memories before you attempt these. The first of these fights pits you against Asterios, Finn, and proto Koo. They nerf your Stargen right away. This is the gimme fight, and I'd recommend just destroying them on the first turn with a buffed Saber. But if you can't do that, target Finn first to stop his Noble Phantasm. Fight 2 is where things get nasty. You're up against Anderson, Paracelsus, and Berserker Vlad. Your NP gain is nerfed and Vlad has a break bar. When it pops, he gets a 10-hit damage reduction buff and a death buff that fully charges one of your servants. From this point onward, all big chance quest enemies with break bars have this effect. My recommendation is to focus down Vlad first and bring a way of soaking Paracelsus' NP. Mash and Vanilla Jean can buy you a fair bit of time. You don't want to be alone on the field with a Berserker that you can't kill, so don't be afraid to stall them out as you remove Vlad's stacks. That said, you could just blow them up with a sufficiently strong attacker. The damage reduction covers up to 30k, meaning a powerful NP or Merlin-backed crit could save you a lot of trouble. Fight 3 has Rama, Merlin, and Saber Lily. All three have break bars and you get 5 turns of defense down right off the bat. Rama and then Saber Lily are your priorities to take out. Be aware Merlin has a party chart skill he can spam, so that's fun. For my part, I had luck running my own Emiya Archer with a support Merlin. Even without Mega Crits, I was able to overpower the damage reduction and isolate Merlin on the field. At that point, you're home free. 
The final fight features Ruler Martha, Archer Arjuna, and Gorgon. They all have break bars and your party gets hit with Star Gen and P-Gain and defense down debuffs. On top of their usual break effects, this set increases their max health by 100k after 3 turns. The strategy that worked for me was to blow up Arjuna with a huge Lancer and then go after Gorgon with either a BB or that same Lancer. Once Martha is alone on the field, you can chip her out even through class disadvantage and collect your winnings. If you're having difficulty, you can either wait for Part 2 so you can max limit break Midsummer Memories or go hard early and cheese them out with Command Spell Revive. I may or may not have underestimated the Vlad fight the first time around and done exactly that. This event is a good chance to make some serious QP, and it respects your time a lot more than Summer 3, so be sure to start early so you can make the most out of it. There's also a challenge quest, but as per usual, I'll cover it in a separate video. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow I'll be rolling for Summer Musashi, so make sure to stop on by to see that disaster unfold. Twitch.tv slash Tyson. In general, I stream every weekend, 3 p.m. Pacific time, Friday through Sunday. That said, like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.